Let's talk franchising. I bring this up because iCracked has been getting a lot of exposure lately. And I'm not trying to say that they're a bad company. I'm not trying to say that they're bad people. And the reason I bring this up is because this industry is one of the easiest industries within which you can build your own success. Where somebody can go from having no money to having a real legitimate business and a living and a name for themselves if they put the hard work and effort in. Because that's how I started. And I value, uh, I value that aspect of this business very much. And I want to encourage every single independent technician and store owner out there to continue to own their own success. As I've said in another video where you shouldn't rent your success from eBay, you shouldn't rent your success from Amazon, you should not rent your success as a repair company from other businesses. You, I'm not saying that there, are, uh, that there aren't good eye cracks and CPRs out there. What I'm saying is, don't open a CPR. Don't open an eye crack. Open a Joe's computer shop. Open Rossman Repair. Open Dr. Brendan. Like, open a business that you own. Open a business that you start from, the, from this ground up. In the restaurant industry, sure, I get it. McDonald's is a name. If you open a McDonald's, you will get a fuck ton of business regardless of where you are. Regardless of where you are, you don't have to do anything. If you open a McDonald's, people will walk in in droves. You can serve garbage food. It can be dirty. Nobody will give a fuck. If you're a McDonald's, people will walk in. That is not the case with iCracked or CPR or any of these other franchises. With all of these franchises, the way it is, you'll open your business and you'll and people will search for you on Yelp or Google and they'll see that there's one in their area and you just started that maybe has one or two reviews. And you know what? The fact that you're an iCracked or a CPR, people are not going to give a fuck. They're still going to go to Joe's Computer Repair. They're still going to go to me or Dr. Brendan or even the guy who just started up on Craigslist because these brands don't have that credibility. I'm not saying they're bad brands or that they're not brands. It's just that this is not the restaurant industry. This is not the auto industry. This is not an industry that is mature enough yet where just simply buying into somebody else's brand name is going to bring you a lot of success. You can build your own success very easily. And if you don't know how to design a logo, find somebody on Craigslist for $50 who's an art design student to make you a logo. If you don't know how to make a website, well, you know what? You're better off having your own website with your own content than you are copying somebody else's anyway. I am tired of seeing 50 versions of the same fucking website slightly modified with the same logo. It's boring and it doesn't give me confidence in their business. It makes it seem like you went to templatemonster.com, downloaded some shit, and uploaded it. And that does not give me confidence. I put up a website that had a Word, Microsoft Word table, my phone number at the top, a stolen copyrighted picture of a sheep, and a list of three services provided. Three services. And I was making $1,000 a week in net income. I'm not saying that that lasted, you know, the entire year, but for three months, $1,000 a week in net income off of the, just these three services, not even any other side jobs that I had, off of a business that not only did not have a brand name, not, but that was just started, simply because it's easy to build a brand name if you do good work. You don't have to buy it from somebody else. And if you buy it from somebody else, you're going to notice that when you buy that brand name, and that brand name has one review on Yelp or Google, that you're still very, very far behind businesses that have no brand name, that have 10 to 50 reviews on the internet and word of mouth. Another thing that I notice, and again, now I'm just getting into stereotyping, but since I'm not dealing with race or sex or sexual orientation, I don't, I don't get to feel bad for it. But you know what? The people who buy their name from somebody else, they're often the weekend warrior. They're often the person, you know, you know what that tells me? That tells me that this person does not have the time to come up with their own business name. This person doesn't have the 50 bucks to give somebody to, to give them a logo. And they don't have, you know, the one or two hours at night to find themselves a part supplier. They just want all that handed to them. And the people who want all of it handed to them are typically the people who are not willing to sacrifice, go back to the last video, to earn their success. And those are not really the people that uh, that usually excel in this business. That's why you'll see that, you know, again, I cracked amazing, huge, great, large company, and look at what they're doing in New York. 
there's maybe two or three people that do this with zero to one reviews that answer that don't answer their phone for three to six hours at a time. And I'm not saying they're bad technicians. I'm not saying that they're bad people. But this to them is a side business. It is not a real business. And when I was doing this as a side business, I still treated it as a real business. I think that you should always be in charge of owning your own success. I think one of the biggest mistakes that young people make right now in this country is working to build somebody else's success while they're young instead of working to build their own. And one of the things that I've really loved and enjoyed about this company, uh, and again I'm going to get a little sappy and corny here, is that I've always tried to make people feel like they're building their own success. I don't hide my vendors from people who work here. I don't hide people who provide services from people who work here. My lead technician could leave tomorrow and have everything he needs to start up his own business using, uh, using my formula. And I'm totally okay with that because he's part of my team. He's not just building my success. He's part of my team. He's building his success along with mine. And unless you're working at a company that, that tries to do that for you, you shouldn't be wasting time building somebody else's success. You shouldn't waste your time building somebody else's brand name. Spend your time building your own brand name. Because you're not going to just jump ahead and you're not going to make quick money just because you buy into somebody else's brand name.